evidently I can't organize my thoughts like it. Oh my god, glasses really show my age. <laughs> Don't I thought I looked so young. <laughs> See? Yeah. So anyway, well, praise the Lord. Why are you young people not seeing it? You're seeing it like with my astigmatism? <laughs> Let me put on some glasses. You need some glasses. I'm your mother. Speak of me as your mother and honor me. Stop being disrespectful. Okay, I'm, I'm finished with that rant. All right. I'm going to go back with my walk to communion. Sorry, I'm very honest. And I'm very blunt. I'm very saved. And my beloved is Jesus. And I have a single dedicated life. Excuse me, I don't want to use the word dedicated for those in the know. I have a single devoted life to Jesus. Very hard to do. It's not easy. And, but it's what I have. Uh, so, my walk to, so I had this experience. I gave up speaking in tongues. Because people said, well, you know, there's a lot of bobos, and I met a lot of bobos. <clears throat> Not going to make fun of you because this might be someone's tongue language, but a lot of people said the same things. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> say it. I make myself laugh with it, but uh, it might be someone's real angelic language, and that would be the time that I would make fun of it. So, I'm not going to do it, although something's going through my head. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not even allowed to think of the words of the song. All right, so, um, I just hear the rhythm of it, but I, I can't hear the song, Praise You, Jesus. Because I am not to make fun of the gifts of the Holy Spirit even though some of them make me laugh. And some of them make me laugh because they are not, they are false miracles. Like the girl did in, what was the name of that movie? I thought about it the other day. Which I think is, a, it's making fun of Christians, but I think it is very, very relevant, interesting in a way to be used by the Christian church. Um, but the girl was saying all kind of bad words with, with an accent to make fun of these tongue-talking Christians. And uh, someone else had to point out, she's saying that she was Jewish. Going to a full gospel Christian school, and she was saying bad words to make fun of the Christians. She was a very smart young lady. And she did some great Christian acts, but none of none of them, not one of them, was a good Christian. It just, it, that's why I think it was, it's actually relevant and a very good movie. Oh, it's Saved. It's called Saved. Something that Christian children should watch because you could all laugh because you know that some people are they just want to be in the spirit. They, they want to be in the spirit, not the real Holy Spirit, but. They don't want to be left out if they haven't gotten the gift of tongues, so make up stuff. So I had that concern about myself, so I quit altogether. Prayed with, uh, with my mind until this I had a dream you're going to die in an accident on an incline, the car's going to flip. I even changed all the tires, made sure the um, every alignment is correct <laughs> so that this won't happen. Because I see a spinning out, hydroplaning, and, and that is exactly what happened. But the eight hours before that, this was the Holy Spirit teaching me, you need to speak in tongues. It's going through my head. I didn't have to. It's going through my head right now. I do not need to use my lips. That makes me feel better, calms me down in the anxious circumstances I am in. By making the noise, and I'm doing it really fast, so it annoys my daughter. And I don't blame you; it doesn't sound right. But I am so anxious, and I'm like, 
Intercede for me, Holy Spirit, and get me out of this circumstance. But he hasn't yet. He's with me in the midst. So anyway, so that's how I got back. Well, this started happening with, I really need communion. I, I was crying and missing it because I would visit lots of different churches because I kept not, I went church hopping. Don't blame me. Don't say I'm church hopping. Our church got destroyed through a crime and I couldn't go back because of a crime. So I moved to another state and had to find a new church. So, um, I visited many churches. So, I wasn't getting communion. It's like, does anybody take communion anymore? It's like, our Assembly of God, we did. And it was very beautiful. We had gotten, you know, that's why we got struck. We had really gotten to a certain blessed level. And... We were effectuating things so much that the devil came and blindsided us. And we didn't know that we were effectuating more than what we were seeing in the natural. But obviously, that's where persecution happens. Something is really... For example, Paul, we know, died. He went up to the third heaven, so he, one of his persecutions, he died in the middle of it. He, and the Lord raised him back to death. And I know exactly how it feels. I was, I was, I was sort of here and I was sort of there, and I'm not sure, but I did see the Lord high and lifted up. It wasn't a vision. One of the many times he got thrown out of a boat or thrown out of a window or let down by a basket uh, or had to wait blinded with scales on his eyes. Some of the stuff he reaped because he murdered Christians. But anyway. He went, it wasn't just persecution, but I think, I don't know how many Christians he murdered, but, but I, if it's like my life, okay, well, I might have deserved and did not deserve to be delivered of my three death penalties because of the three mortal sins, but the fourth one, okay, that's, I got delivered, and the fourth one was the car thing, where after the Father God came and lifted me out, and I'm like, well, let's go, let's go. I'm done here. No, you're not. <laughs> I'm already okay. His presence is wonderful. So anyway, I need communion. I'm only preaching you need communion because it has been the shield for me. I speak in tongues more than you all, like Paul said. I've been delivered out of great things, but I am tired of them. And communion, take it as an act of faith, Protestants, because the debate has taken that act of faith away from you, I have learned. Now, what I've learned with the Holy Spirit regarding communion is none of your business. It's between me and the Lord, and I'm not going to have that argument with you. That is not my, my place. But what I am called to do is for you to take communion. And the only rapture dream I've had since 2013 was about a three-panel skirt for our wedding feast. And I was missing one panel, and the Holy Spirit, that's the communion. That was to tell y'all, take communion every day as an act of faith and humility. And read the Gospel of John to learn about it. I am not going to have the, have the sex trans... First of all, we, we use three different words. We were all incorrect. People who argue this, they don't even use the right word. The word in some document at the Vatican, it's called, they call it transubstantiation. The person who's saying it's this evil thing thought the word was transubjugation. That is not the word. Transmutation, because it, it sounds better in my ears, is an appropriate synonym for 
transubstantiation, but the theological word is transubstantiation. I am not going to argue that with you. I am never going to be a Catholic priest. I am not going to spend years of eight years in poverty, prayer, and Bible study to become a Catholic priest so that I can participate in the miracle of transubstantiation. I am not going to do that. But God does do a miracle. I will tell you this. God does do a miracle. Is it the miracle of transubstantiation? I have no idea. It doesn't look like that, doesn't feel like that, but he does a miracle. If you are devoted in learning and walking with and taking his communion, and the most important thing, that act of faith, Protestant, wonderful Christian, born again, Protestant, who walks a better walk than me, um, who speaks a tongue more than me, who has a better grace preach than me, I will tell you, one thing, like the tongue thing, the one thing that the Holy Spirit has asked me to do is not to tell you the rapture date, but while we are waiting, take communion. Read John chapter 6 and take communion daily. Thank you for our daily bread. Do it daily in your devotions before you preach on a video to give encouragement before you pray with um, the members of your family or your church in devotion and show the great work of Jesus Christ in your life just through those humble prayers and you don't have to do it online but I do take communion I've taken them down I have a lot of communion videos because in these as we wait as we wait in joyful hope for our face-to-face -face with Jesus, when we'll see him face-to-face, -face, take communion. That is not just for me, it's for everyone in the body of Christ.